Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy late afternoon. Hope the day has treated you well. You've looked after yourself. You've had a good day at work. You've been to the gym, if not. And if you're in the gym watching this, put me down. Put me down on the side. Go work out. We're talking, though, in this video, since around Conor Gallagher. And we've got a big update with this whole, do Chelsea need to sell before th June 30th or not? So we're going to have to put you talking about that as well as interest in the def Bundesliga defender, William Pacho, who I've spoken about before. So plenty to talk about, plenty to get into. I just want to say, though, if you are new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us for the journey. And uh, I'm going to start with the Conor Gallagher thing, because I've got a few things to talk about. So the first one I kept, came across was from The Athletic, and it was reading in, through the podcast that said, from Matt Slater, I cannot see any possible uh, way how they are not massively over the PSR threshold. They have until June 30th and they have to sell players, probably academy players. So to give you a reason as to why it's academy players, Chelsea needs to raise supposedly around about £100 million of pure profit. So if you sell an academy player for £25 million, that is £25 million pure profit because you've not bought them, if you get what I mean. If you were to sell a player that you spend £20 million for and sell them for £25 million, you'd actually only gain a little bit compared to it, because obviously you spent money on them. If that makes sense. I know it's a bit complicated. I kind of just try to bring it down to a, an average Joe level, you and I, unless you are a finance expert, then go back up there. You're not with me, all right? So there's that. So also, Team Talk with an exclusive said that Tottenham are poised to pounce and are closely monitoring Conor Gallagher's talks with Chelsea over a new deal. Now, there was a key thing in an article that I want to read you surrounding Todd Bowley's thoughts and feelings to this. It said that Bowley overrules Pochettino and Gallagher. Now, a fresh update from Football Insider has shed new light on Gallagher's future. They state that much to Pochettino's dismay, Chelsea's hierarchy is set to go against the wishes of the Argentine and cash in on Gallagher early on in the summer window. So early on in the summer window, basically before June 30th. That's the vibe, right? I've spoken about Gallagher probably more so than I've spoken to my family. And I've been sort of saying, you know, he does suit the system. It works really well. He's been one of Chelsea's best players this season, regardless of where you look at them and their form. They've had some really good players this season play well. Cole Palmer, Conor Gallagher, both England squad for a reason. And I was thinking, oh, well, if you didn't go Gallagher and you sold Hoybjerg, you say you sold uh, Lo Celso as well. You've got Lucas Bergvall coming in this summer. Do you need a Conor Gallagher? Maybe you put Kulisevsky into the midfield. Maybe you buy yourself a couple of wingers, you know. Maybe even three wingers if you include Timo Werner signing. And then I thought about it and I thought, I, I kind of want Kulisevsky sat on the wing. And I kind of want... I kind of want two wingers anyway. I mean, Solomon, you can kind of say floats between the wings if you want to say it. So five wingers, for example. And I kind of want an out-and-out -out midfielder. And that's why I think Gallagher is the guy. Now, obviously, I spoke about Edison in the previous video. If you haven't seen, I did, did do a previous video. Go back and have a watch. And I thought Gallagher would make a ton of sense. He would make a ton, a ton of sense. And I'm just, you can see in my eyes. I'm, I'm all around the room trying to just sort of imagine things and picture things. The fact that they need to sell before um, the end of June, yes, they'll probably sell Lewis Hall. I think there's a clause in his contract with Newcastle that it's a loan with an obligation to buy as long as they don't finish like 14th or 15th and below, which they're not going to. So Chelsea are going to make like 30 million on Lewis Hall this summer. Okay, that's 30 million towards your PS, your financial fair play. You've got 70 million to make. They'll be selling Ian Matson, I believe, to Dortmund. I think they're something like 30 odd million they're trying to get for that. And after that, Trevor Chalaber's probably on the chopping block. Armando, uh, Armando Brogia's on the chopping block, but they want stupid money for Brogia, which they're not going to get. F Fulham aren't dumb. They're not paying that money. Gallagher's the guy that would sort it out. And that's where I think they go. That's where I think they go. So, yeah, it's really interesting with this whole Gallagher thing. I don't see it going away. I don't see it as something the Spurs will let go away. Spurs know you need to sell. Spurs can go. He's England international midfielder. Suits Andrew's system. Helps our homegrown situation. Fairly cheap, all things considered. For a player who is a Prem proven starter for two different clubs in the Premier League. We're going to pull the trigger on this one. And, you know, Chelsea are going to want 50 million. You're not getting 50 million for Conor Gallagher. Teams know you need to sell. So they're not going to go, let's give you what you want. You get 
about 35 to 40 is I think what they'll get. Moving on to Pacho. All right, so this is the Frank Fletcher and half. I've spoken about it before on this channel, and if you've been a long-term subscriber, you know I've spoken about it before, but it came from Sasha Tavilieri, who was also the guy that first talked about it back in late January, okay? So it said, information confirmed, Spurs on William Pacho's uh, will also... That's minor language, but uh, will on William Pacho's will also face competition from Arsenal... Uh, they're also targeting him. Uh, Frankfurt want 50 million euros. It's a wait and see thing. So let's call it 45 million pounds. Let's bring it Let's bring it to bloody sterling. And if you are an Aussie, do it yourself because I don't know off the top of my head. Apologies. And if you are anything not English, do it off the top of your head because I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. Hands up. I'm sorry. And they're not jazz hands. It's just me. It's me like a, I'm the last man of the fence taking someone out and going, oh, no, I didn't mean to. Sorry, don't give me a red card, ref. I'm already off halfway down the tunnel, to be honest. Really, really athletic defender. Really athletic defender. Quite a powerful defender as well, actually. It gives me that powerful vibe that you get from, like, a, a Romero Dragusian. I don't think you get as much power from Mickey. Mickey, I think, gives you raw athletic talent compared to the other two, which I think give you a bit more brawn, if you know what I mean. Frankfurt have had a fantastic few years, to be honest. Oliver Glasner, the uh, Palace manager, was obviously their manager when they won their European trophy. So they've had some success the last few years as well. He's been a really massive part as to why they've been so good, Pacho. He would suit Spurs' system. And what I mean by Spurs' system, when you think of the centre-back partnership, is the ability to defend in space on your own. When you think of players when they run at Romero, I feel pretty confident that Romero is going to be able to stand up against them, right? When they run at Mickey van der Ven, it's a waste of time. He's quicker than you, so he can give you the head start to run past him. He's just going to catch you. It's what Kyle Walker used to do. Kyle Walker was like, go on, go on, get running. Gets a 10-yard head start and walks, goes to Toby Adeverald. Inside you go, lads, I've got this. And just catches them in a heartbeat. Pacho would give you that physicality that, you know, he's not going to get bullied by, a, you know, a Mateta, a, a crystal patch, quite a physical striker. But he's going to give you that ability to make up for ground against a quicker striker, a more technical striker. But also the thing is the ability to actually play out from the back as well. So he would make sense. Will Spurs spend that money on the centre-back? I don't think so. I still think they go Lloyd Kelly because he's free. I really do. It's not because I want Lloyd Kelly. I'm just trying to put us all in the shoes of what I think Le Levy... Paratici, Johan Lange, or Lange, or Lange, or, you know, whatever you want to say, and obviously Ange himself, what they're going to do. Because I think they also know, look, we can't spend 40, 45 million in every position. We're going to have to take some wins somewhere. And I think Lloyd Kelly is a winner when he's free. Because it might be a case where they get Lloyd Kelly and a fullback instead of getting just a centre-back, which I'd rather that. I need, I need me some depth. You know what I mean? I need me some depth. But we shall see. But anyway, guys, then the video. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on the video if you did. Hit me in the comment section. Show you your thoughts on this. Obviously, Pacho are interested in forty-five minutes. You're doing it. You're not doing it. If you're not doing it, where are you going with your with your, your centre half interest? And um, obviously, talk about Conor Gallagher. I know we spoke about it before, but you know, I want to get your thoughts and about this whole PSR situation. Do you think Spurs are still going to go in there? I know a few of you have kind of said he doesn't want to come to Spurs. But you're kind of going to get sold. It's not really... Uh, unfortunately, by that, situation, at that point, it's not really up for up to discussion. It's not really something he can control. So I want to know, Phil Spins, do you think he suits us? Do you think Spurs do it? If you don't think they do it, where do we go? Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the notification for more. Better guys, then a video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.